Hey everybody, welcome to another vlog. My name is Nigel Hay, and today we're down here, lovely Lake Erie area, and actually we're at Crystal Beach, just around the corner from my house. I'm here for a reason, because there's one thing I've wanted to see since I've lived here, is that, that right there, on the peninsula. That is Point Abino Lighthouse, Point, e oh, Point Abino <laughs> Lighthouse. And it's one of the hardest things to actually try and get to. It's located on the peninsula right there. Um, but the big problem we have right here is all this land here, this section right there I'm moving around, it's private property. And it's not that easy to get to the lighthouse. Let's go have a drive over, get a bit closer to it and see what we can do. Join me, my name is Nigel Hay, this is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. And today we are going to visit a lighthouse. All right, we were just standing way over there on the other side at Crystal Beach, and we're now down in the, uh, approaching the point, Abino Peninsula area. So we're gonna have a quick drive around here and do a little recce, see if we can uh, do something here. All right, we're just pulling up to the, uh, the private area it's what they call a gated community. I'll tell you a bit more about this gated community shortly. But let's have a quick uh, drive up to it. See if there's a security person on point. And uh, we'll take it from there. All right, here we go. I am determined today to get to this lighthouse. I am determined to do it. All right, here you are. This is as far as you can go on the road. This is where Point Abano ends, right here. Right here, it's a gated community. You can't go through those gates. You have to live here. There's usually someone in that hut. So, uh, public. No public entry until further notice. We'll drive around here. Private property, private road, are all the signs. Access to Point Abano Lighthouse is closed until further notice. No walking, cyclist, or other visitors permitted. I am going to that lighthouse today. If you like it or not, I am going. Waited long enough. Let's have a park up and have a little walk around. All right, there you can see it is closed off. We cannot access it, it is private. And uh, I'm not going down that way, I guess. I'm gonna have to think of another idea, which I'll think of in the coming uh, few minutes, hopefully. All right, I'm just bringing you up here because I just want to show you an al another alternative I had. All right, one of the ideas I had of getting to the lighthouse, and we suggested walk right across, because there's that really controversial debate that really all waterfront access is open to everyone. It should be, and rightly so. But unfortunately, in many parts of Canada, people on the beaches. I even suggested, how about I walk the water's edge all the way around? And that plan was a go until just last week when I found out some information off someone and they told me uh, some of the lots, some of the lots in this gated community back here, their deeds actually do extend into the water. And then if I put my foot on their land, technically I'll be in trouble but I'm still gonna get over there. So the lighthouse is on the other side of all this here. So it's probably about, I'm gonna say a half a kilometer walk. Looking on the map, it's probably about half a kilometer walk around here to the far end. And uh, today I am determined to get there. Just need to think a little bit harder, but we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna visit this lighthouse today. Been wanting to do this for ages. It's happening. I've got a plan so cunning you could put a tail on it and call it a weasel. That 
is a cunning plan. I need to make a phone call. I told you I had a cunning plan, and now I'm going to do it. I guess you can adjust the foot pedal things too, Pete. All right, I'm ready. Here we go. We're going to go over there to the lighthouse. All right. Give me a push. <laughs> All right, we're going. Whoa, hello. <laughs> we should have brought snacks. We should have brought snacks. All right. All right, we're now cruising at a very slow pace and I feel like I'm going to capsize very quickly. So I'm going to concentrate. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't do those. <laughs> Now I have to say, I've never done this before and the water out here on Lake Erie is absolutely crystal clear. Hence the name for Crystal Beach, Crystal Beach meaning the water being crystal clear. It is beautiful. There you go, lovely little rock. Told you it's shallow here, very shallow. So apparently it is a little bit further than what I thought. So anyway, we'll carry on paddling. Uh, you want to check out these houses here. These are really, really nice houses. Uh, oh, oh, that. Canoe rage going on here. Okay. So. Oh, there's someone shouting over there. I think they said get off my water. Actually sounded like a child's voice. Could be a ghost, Egan. Could be. Apparently people were killed out here, these shipwrecks, remember? Very haunted out here. Should have brought the Ouija board out. Tegan doesn't do very good with Ouija boards. <laughs> Alright, carry on. And there it is. Point Abano Lighthouse. Finally getting to see it close up. Just another four, three or four hundred meters to go. Is he rock? There it is. I told you today I was going to get to this lighthouse one way or another, and we've done it. <laughs> uh. So, why well, I give you this private property on here? That is all private property back there. There's a gate I can see from here, uh, which segregates this bit. So I'm going to presume, should be presumptive, but I am. This is all part of town of Fort Erie. This bit, and anything behind that beach line or the beach line itself is the uh, Point Avenue Association and the private property. So it's a little walk around. So what we can see here, this is beautiful. This is cool. 1917. So we can get around for the whole batch of disappears.
took a little, a little bit further than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was actually just around the corner. It's actually around three corners, near enough. So anyway, it's, it's in great condition. And when you think this, this lighthouse stands all the storms we get week after week, day after day, after, hour after hour. I'm really looking forward to coming back next year and actually uh, going on one of the tours. So I really want to get inside here, but I'm not going to do anything silly. So we'll wait till next year and we'll do a part two of this and uh, we'll do it the uh, correct way and we'll do one of the tours. But, uh, just look how clear this water is here. Look how clear that is. Now, just a word for boaters. I've, I've been talking about safety. Uh, me and Tegan were both wearing our life vests. And there's a reason why you got to be careful in the water, folks. Rocks everywhere. This area of Lake Erie is very shallow in places. Lots of rocks. And they're not very well uh, marked. So if you're on a watercraft like a jet ski or a little boat itself, quite easy to run aground here. So keep that in mind. There's a kayaker right out there. What's your name? Tony. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's your name? I'm happy. Looks like it's getting a little hazy, so put your head back shortly. Because you're hungry. I'm very hungry. Yeah, Tegan's hungry. Michael, get a burger and a shake. We did it, kid. We did it. Yay! Tegan, next time you come, can you bring a cloth and just wipe these windows down? See, if I was a lighthouse keeper, because this, this was automated back in the 80s, that means no one lived on here, but for years, years ago, they would have had a lighthouse keeper. I think he lived in the building over there. So this was actually operated by a person. Then in 19... Yeah, I think in 1985 or 1989, it became automated, which means it all became electronic. But then they closed it in the mid-90s. You'd think they'd even clean it for like tours and stuff. Yeah, I know. To me, I think it should still be operational. I mean, look at how many boats. I mean, they're only, they're only pleasure craft, but every now and then you do get a ship coming up from Port Coburn, going into Buffalo, which is just way over there. And uh, yeah, it should, yeah. It should be like that. Walk. Listen to the shoe, not always your shoes are making. <laughs> oh my God, what was that? Someone in there. Hello? There is. Oops, man down. Okay, well you gotta tip it now. Bring it up on this rock a bit. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Hey, round two. Flippy oh. rock. Okay, get all your shit ready and then I'll help you in. Alright. Oh, did I tell you, it's a really nice lighthouse, by the way. <sighs> Kayak is awkward. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's a little easier there. <gasps> oh, 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 my God. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to paddle out here and get a shot of this lighthouse before we go back. Oh, that's nice from this angle. Really nice. All right, show you this. There we go. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little red thing sticking out just there. If I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna guess that's the foghorn. Though I've never heard it here, but I'm presuming that would be the foghorn located right there. So there we have it, we made it. Didn't get arrested, didn't get told to clear off. So there we go. We didn't touch anyone's private property. And the only thing that happened, I fell in the water a little bit trying to get in the kayak. I have a feeling though that wasn't recorded. Jelly. 